Today I will use Aeolian Dominant to compose with. The way to construct Aeolian Dominant is pretty simple. You start with Aeolian, we'll be in F today. And you naturalize the 3. That's it. Instead of a flat 3, we get a natural 3, which gives F Aeolian Dominant. So it's essentially a minor scale with a major third. And the home chord is a dominant 7. Hence the name. The first half is pure major. And the second half, pure minor. And one of its other name is major dash minor. Very descriptive very on the nose. And the more observant will have noticed that it's exactly the same thing as Mixolydian flat 6. And it is! If you flatten the 6 of a Mixolydian scale, you get a flat 6 and a flat 7. If you naturalize the flat 3 of an Aeolian scale, you get a flat 6 and a flat 7. So they're exactly the same thing. But I decided to go with Aeolian dominant for this video because the modal interchange will happen with Aeolian rather than Mixolydian, like in my previous Mixolydian flat 6 video. Now we'll play a fragment of the melody of the verse of the song I composed over a drone of F. Here's that fragment of melody in F major. Now, here it is in F natural minor. You can really hear the majorness and the minorness of those melodies. You don't need a major or minor chord underneath. You just need that drone on the F. And now, here it is in Aeolian Dominant or Mixolydian flat 6. It really feels like we're sitting between major and minor, but with the tonic chord being major, I guess we're a little bit closer to major. You often hear Mixolydian being a smoother, cooler major scale. Well, this one is even more smooth, more mellow. It's like major without all the hard edges that flat six and flat seven really like float up to the tonic instead of leading to the tonic with a lot of gravity. Now here's the verse of the song in pure F Ionian major. I just Now let's flatten the 3, 6, and 7 and go to pure F natural minor. I just somber. Now let's dial back the darkness a little bit by unflattening that 3 and going to Aeolian Dominant. I just I think Aeolian Dominance strikes a good balance to really support the mood of the lyrics and of the song. And now here's a fragment of the pre-chorus in pure Aeolian Dominant. It sounds okay, but 
there is a note in there that feels a bit harsh. It's this one. Being fully raised. It's that natural three, the A on that B flat minor chord. It makes the B flat a minor major seven chord. Very crunchy and maybe a bit too tense for this part of the song. So what I did is I borrowed B flat minor seven from F Aeolian. A lot smoother and a lot nicer. I was hearing a descending line that would start on D flat, our flat six. So naturally, when trying to find chords on a certain melody, I often try the chord that has its root note on the first note of the melody. And right now that first chord in F Aeolian dominant would be D flat augmented. Uh, a little bit harsh. I don't think we're going to go with that one. So let's try B flat minor. That D flat would be the minor third. Never seen. It's pretty cool. Let's go with that. Now, here is what the chorus sounds like in F Aeolian dominant. Again, we're hitting that minor major seven problem, which it's a cool chord, but doesn't feel like it fits here. Never seen here in the song, I am supposed to be frustrated, not anxious, and that minor major seven and augmented chords they, they, they feel anxious and like ooh, they have a lot of tension right now it's like anger and frustration so i decided to go to pure f aeolian for that bit and in f aeolian that d flat chord is major Never seen. sounds pretty cool then when we hit that f minor home that emotion I want to convey except there's one little detail that was a bit not quite okay with Aeolian that last chord that leads back to the second verse felt too sad Under your I mean I feel like I want to cry on that chord and that's not what I want to convey. I want to convey frustration and anger. So for that last chord, I interchanged with F harmonic minor, which has a major five chord. And that hits the exact right mood I want to convey. Under your command. See? really harnesses my anger just exactly right and it has the added benefit of C major to F major having a really strong cadence back to the verse compared to C minor to F major which is very smooth and sort of sad milk toast sort of transition which is okay for certain songs certain moods but not this one at this particular point milk toast now here is that chorus in f minor aeolian with that little dash of harmonic minor at the end Now, if 
I put everything together and include an instrumental intro and outro, we get a really good feel for the sound of Aeolian mixed with Aeolian dominant. Remember, the whole verse and bridge are in pure Aeolian dominant, except for that bar on the B minor chord to avoid that B minor major 7. We just interchange with F minor Aeolian and get that B minor 7 sound. And the chorus obviously is in pure Aeolian with a dash of harmonic minor. This mode approached from the perspective of Aeolian dominant or from the perspective of Mixolydian flat 6 is one of my all time favorite modes. It really takes the edge off the super sad heaviness of Aeolian and it also takes the edge off the super bright shininess of pure major even more than going just to Mixolydian would do. I think that wraps it up for now. See you in the next one.